Riders, this is the best thing I've bought for the last couple of months. Let's check it out. Riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today, it's all about the podium flow from Camelback. I would say the best purchase I have made in the last couple of months. And for the Sam's Bikes fans out there, I know there's a few, probably more decoy fans. I have made my own custom t-shirts. I think they're looking really cool. They're costing 20 US dollars or 22 euros. And it would really help the channel out if you went over and bought a t-shirt. Riders, remember, if you like the bag, you like the review and you like Sam's Bikes, the links are in the show notes. And yes, I do earn a small commission, but it does help the channel grow. Some riders out there might call it a fanny pack. Others might say it's another unnecessary bag. But for me, this is the best bag at the moment I own. The new Podium Flow holds a few tools, a phone, some food, and 620 mils or 2.1 ounces of water or two full cans of beer and 625 mils of water. So this is my new favorite bag and a little background to me is look right as I am a bit of a freak for bags as a photographer. I think I have over 10 photography bags and for every job I pack a new bag. Like you never know what you're going to need and I actually like packing that bag to make sure I have everything I need for that job. And it's kind of a bit similar on the bike. Madrid has been crazy hot in the last couple of weeks. I normally ride with an Evoque Freeride Enduro 16 litre backpack, which has the back protection and is an amazing bag. I have reviewed it, link will be up here or over here. Great bag, my favorite bag for over a two hour ride. But with the heat I found my back getting sweaty and also with the arrival of the Decoy 29er, they actually sent me the Thirstmaster, which holds 475 mils. And I thought, okay, for those two hour rides, around a litre of water is gonna be perfect for me. When I research a product, I really do look at every option. And look, I found a lot of the bags a bit too big, and I didn't really want a hydration pack in there. I thought it was a bit, gonna be a bit uncomfortable. You've got nothing to click it onto up on your chest. And also, I see this as more my two hour maximum ride especially if you've got a water bottle on your bike. So how is she on the trail? First thing I thought of when I bought the bag was, is it gonna bounce around when I'm riding downhill or doing jumps? I can guarantee you riders, this bag is one of those bags that you put on and you do not feel it. Like, I didn't think I was gonna say that. I was worried about it. Because a bum bag, especially when they're big and bulky, they do bounce up and down and I was expecting maybe this might fly, the water bottle might fly out when I'm jumping. But to be honest, I reckon I've done over 100 Ks on this now, and I love it. You actually wear this on your back. You don't have it on your front because you know your, your stomach gets in the way, especially mine does. Um, so you have this on the back, and you do need to go one-handed and maybe two-handed. So you kind of want to be stopped, and I don't think it's a bad thing. If you're on a flat track, uh, you can, and it's not too rough, you can go no hands and just go put your hands at the back, get the bottle. One hand with the handlebar works as well. I found that I'm actually drinking a little bit less on the trail, and I'm drinking when I'm stopping, just if I've done a climb, just before the downhill. I thought pulling the bottle in and out might be a problem, like it might get sort of stuck when you put it back in and out. Camelback have really done a great job with the design here, and it really does just push in and out as you expect it would. As I said, I put this in the limit of a two hour ride if you're riding with another water bottle. I'm a drinker, I like to drink a lot when I'm riding, and for me, I need around a liter of water for a two hour ride. So this is 620 mils or 21 ounces, and I find if I've paired that with the Thirstmaster, it is, enough i'm running out after two hours so it's a very good option for that short ride so how's the build quality it is very well made but also very well designed and 
you know, it, it's not the cheapest item out there, but at the same time, you get what you pay for. So let's, let's have a little look at what you get. So in the pack, which I didn't know when I bought it, it actually comes with the water bottle. I expected it might, but I didn't know it would. And it's not like your standard water bottle. It's pretty fancy. It's got like an open and close switch at the top here. It's got an extra sort of protection here so you don't leak your water. Um, and also something to note, uh, which I cannot say about the Thirstmaster, is Camelback have definitely been developing their plastic molds or whatever. And we are not getting a plastic taste when I'm drinking out of this bottle. And with the Thirstmaster, I am getting a small amount of plastic taste. So it's definitely a high-end bottle. So you get that, you obviously get the bag. And let's see what fits in here. And we are in Sam's bike bar today, still in Portugal. And, and we also do need a scale to show how big this product is. So we all know what a 330 ml can of beer looks like. So we have one ice cold sangras beer here. And we have one more. So this compartment here, this will hold two beers. I mean, we're not gonna arrive with two beers, but I always like to have an idea of scale on how big things are. So two bottles of beer will fit in here easily. And to be honest, I reckon you could squeeze in a third. So when I'm riding with this bag, I'm actually putting in, I put my phone in, I put my wireless earphones in, I put my keys in the front here. I have a multi-tool. I also have my pump and sometimes a CO2 canister and I have my tube and my tire levers on the bike. For me, that is the perfect two hour ride backpack. And the final word from Sam's bike, does it get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Definitely a big thumbs up. This is my go-to bum bag, fanny pack, hip bag, whatever you wanna call it, for a two hour or less ride. And I love it. Riders, thanks again for the support watching the channel. If you have not, subscribe, like, share the channel with your friends. It really means a lot and stay safe out there and I'll see you next week.